those. They're for the party this afternoon. Ozzy, stop eating those olives. There'll be none left. Well, they're good. I don't know why you're getting so mad anyway. I'm leaving the pimentos on the plate. Your buffet looks beautiful. Oh, of course it does. The solid silver with beauty that lives forever is international sterling. And put down that stuffed egg. <laughs> The solid silver with beauty that lives forever is International Sterling. From Hollywood, International Silver Company, creators of International Sterling, presents The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring America's favorite young couple, Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Hilliard. Signs of activity at 1847 Rogers Road, where the Nelsons live. Harriet, busy as a beaver, scurries through the house putting things in order. In the living room, Ozzie, husband and helpmate, keeps the boys out of Harriet's way. Or could it be vice versa? Say, what's Har- what's Ozzie doing anyway? What? He's got a deck of cards and some sort of a book. Oh, I see. It's a book of card tricks. Uh, take a card, David. Any card at all. Okay, let's see. I'll take this one. Uh, no, 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 not that one. Uh, any other card. Take the one sticking out in the middle. He keeps pushing it at you. Okay, now I'll take this one. <laughs> Eight of spades? That's right, Pop. See, David, that trick is what the book calls forcing a card on a person. The Eight of spades was the card I wanted you to take. Well, that's what I figured when you poked me in the eye with it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go now, Pop? Well, don't you want me to do a couple more card tricks for you? Oh, sure, Pop. It's just that some of the kids are waiting for us. We're supposed to play basketball. Well, just one more, though, huh? This one's a beauty. Uh, This one on page 65. No, no, don't peek at the book. Now, as you know, there are 52 cards in the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-eight, thirty, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. You saw them all. 52. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ricky, pick a card. Any card at all. Look out for your eye, Ricky. (laughs) Okay, I got one. Now, tear up the card. Tear it up? I know what I'm doing. Tear it up. Now, throw the pieces in the fireplace. (coughs) Good. Now, I counted out the cards, and you saw there were 52. Ricky has taken one card and torn it up, or so it would seem. But when I count them out, there will be... Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one. <laughs> David, would you get me another deck of cards, please? What's that one called, Pop? Forcing a person to tear up a card? No, it worked perfectly last night. Can we go now, Pop? Well, of course. I was just trying to entertain you a little. I... Why don't you do some tricks for Mom? She doesn't play basketball. Well, you, your mother's busy making sandwiches and things. Well, that's okay, fellas. Uh, you go ahead. Come on, Ricky. We're late. <coughs> Harriet! Harriet, where are you? Harriet! Come on. I know you're in the house. <laughs> Were you calling me? Oh, yes. Uh, Harriet, uh, take a car. Oh, I'm awfully busy, dear. The house is an absolute mess, and the girls will be here at three o'clock. We well, don't have to stop working. You just take a card. Come on, any card at all. Okay. Now, put it back in the deck. Now, I shuffle the cards. I cut them. What was the card you selected? Ten of diamonds. Mm-hmm. Now, will you look at the top card, please? All right. Why, Ozzy, 
that's wonderful. You fooled me completely. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the ten of diamonds and it's the four of clubs. <laughs> Uh, it's the, the, oh yeah, it's a pretty clever. It's it's a oh, little switch. Oh, it's very switch, clever. Huh? If you'll pardon me, dear, I have so much to no, do. No, just one more, huh? This one is called forcing a card on a person. Now take a card, anyone at all. Oh, my eye. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll get it. If I can see it. Maybe it'll hit you in the eye. Hello. Hello, Harriet. It's Mother. You try it again. Now, take another card. Hello, Mother. How are you? Fine, dear. You How are you? This. Here, take a card. Now, I'm honey. talking to Mother. Yes, I know you are, dear. <laughs> I was talking to Ozzy. Oh, it sounded like you said you were talking to Mother. Well, I was, but I was talking to Ozzy. Here, now, any card at all. Pardon me, Mother. Ozzy, stop it. Shall I call back later, dear? <laughs> Ozzy's doing card tricks for me. Here, now take a card. Just a minute, Mother. That's it. Now put the card back, but remember it. What card did you get, dear? The Ten of Clubs. Harriet, you told me the card. I told Mother. (laughs) Take another one. What's that, Mother? I didn't say anything. You would? Oh, I know he'd be delighted. What did she say? She wants to know if you'll come over and entertain her this afternoon. Mother loves card tricks. What? Harriet, I said no such thing. I'm not going to be your husband's sitter. Well, go ahead and talk to your mother. I want to practice this a little more. David, Ricky... This is the afternoon you're having the girls over, isn't it, dear? Yes, Mother. It's three o'clock. That's what I thought. And I'm happy to tell you, you couldn't have picked a better day. I looked up your horoscope, and today is your day to meet people. You're bubbling over with personality. Well, that's nice to hear, but frankly, I think I'd bubble a lot more if I could get Cardini out of the house. Who, dear? Shuffles Nelson. <laughs> Better known to us as Ozzy. He's been sick of carding me to death all day. Somebody gave him a book of card tricks for Christmas, and unfortunately, he's just discovered it. Well, now, dear, you don't want to hurt his feelings. If you want Ozzy out of the house, I'll give you a formula I used to use on your father. It got him out of the house every time. Well, go ahead. I'll try anything. It's just ordinary psychology, but it always works. Just tell him how nice it is having him around the house. Is that all? No. Then you ask him to help you with a few things. And that's all there is to it? No, not quite. Now, this part is very important. Step back and make sure the door is open. (laughs) Well, thanks for the advice, Mother, because I've got a million things to do. I know what a nuisance it can be having interruptions when you're getting ready for a party. Yes, well, thanks, Mother. I've got to finish... Then just don't realize when they're in the way... They aren't as sensitive to those things as women are. You're right, Mother. It works every time. (laughs) Say you want one thing, and they'll do the other. Yes, Mother. Well, I really have to finish my... It's really clever, isn't it? But it's reliable. Just say the opposite. Uh, Am I holding you up, dear? If I'm keeping you from your work, I'll get off the fold. Well, frankly, Mother... Uh, No, not at all. Keep right on talking, Mother. Okay. Goodbye, dear. What did your mother want? Oh, she just called me up to tell me about my horoscope. According to mother, this is a good day for me. The tea party will be a tremendous success. Oh, good for you. (laughs) I sure get a kick out of your mother in that astrology book. (laughs) Pick a card, Harriet. Oh, mother. (laughs) You know, dear, it's awfully nice having you around this afternoon. Uh, What'd you say? I say it's awfully nice having you around. Well, after being married 13 years, I'm glad to hear you finally say that. I mean today in particular, dear. You're such a steadying influence. You're so much fun, too. Here, let me hang this dust rag over your arm. And not many women have such a wonderful husband. Let me lean this mop against you. You're certainly... Yeah, where's the... my coat? I know what you're up to. What do you mean, what I'm up to? Harriet, your mother's a fine woman. But when it comes to psychology, she should stick to being a fine woman. What are you talking about? I know what you're trying to do. She told you to try a little psychology on me, but it's not going to work. Oh? You know I know reverse psychology. You pretend you want me around the house, so I'll leave. That's reverse psychology. Oh? But, knowing that I know reverse psychology, you try reverse reverse psychology. (laughs) You see? You say you want me inside, so I'll think you want me outside. Actually, you want me inside. But thinking you want me outside, I stay inside. But I'm going to fool you. I'm going outside. Oh, you're too clever for 
for me, dear. Uh, I just know psychology. <laughs> you can even reverse, reverse, reverse psychology, so it's triple reverse. Now, that works this way. You want me outside. I think you want me inside. But you really want me outside, so instead of staying outside, I stay... No, no. I go outside. Ozzie. Uh, yes? Pick a card. <laughs> Oh, hello, Tharney. <laughs> what are you chuckling about? It's amazing how people can go off on ridiculous tangents. Uh, who'd you have in mind? Uh, Harriet's mother, for instance. A wonderful woman and very intelligent. But she got a book of astrology for Christmas, and now she pesters everybody to death with horoscopes. All this silly junk. I'm not so sure about that, Oz. An awful lot of people believe in that stuff. Oh, a lot of people believe in anything, Tharney. Uh, what's your horoscope for today? Well, she didn't tell me mine, just Harriet's. This is a very good day for Harriet, a uh, lucky day. Oh, uh, pick a card, Thorny, any card at all. Let's uh, see. I'll take this one. Funny she didn't tell you your horoscope. Now put it back in the deck. That's it. You mean maybe mine isn't so good for today? Unlucky day or, or something? Yeah, well, naturally, she wouldn't tell you. She wouldn't want you to worry. Oh. If this were a dangerous day for me, Harriet wouldn't let me out of the house, you see. She'd insist... Hmm... Something the matter, Oz? Well, come to think of it, she did try to keep me in the house. She even used reverse psychology. Then what are you waiting for? Oh, Thorny, those horoscopes are a lot of silly nonsense. Well, maybe yes and maybe no. I happened to look mine up in a book one day, and it said a relative will cause you financial worry. Well? That same afternoon, I got a letter. From a relative? Uh-huh. Uncle Sam wanted $55 more income tax. <laughs> Wait a minute, Thorny. It just dawned on me. Harriet wants me to stay in this afternoon, and for a very good reason. Well, sure, your horoscope. No, no, this has nothing to do with horoscopes. She's giving a tea party this afternoon. Of course, I should have thought of it. She wants me to entertain with my card tricks. Oh, uh, by the way, what happened to the card you picked? You put it back in the deck and shoveled it. Oh, we got to talking here. I forgot which one. Uh, that's it, right there. Well, how can you tell? I can still see the dent you put in it with your fingernail. <laughs> Get back in the house, Oz, please. I'm worried. Ozzie, what are you doing back? I hope... Uh, that is, I thought you'd gone for the day. Oh, Harriet, I couldn't leave you in a lurch. I'm back to lend you a hand. Oh, but honestly, dear, I don't need one. I'm doing beautifully. Oh, Harriet, never mind the psychology. Why didn't you just come out and say you want me to entertain with my card tricks? Your card tricks? Oh, Ozzy, really, dear, you wouldn't want to do your tricks for a lot of women. We wouldn't appreciate them. Harriet, if you don't want me in the house, just say so. Ozzy, I love you dearly, but I don't want you in the house this afternoon. <laughs> you know, reverse psychology. <laughs> when will you learn that I'm wise to that? You say you don't when you do. Okay, dear, I'll confess. I hate to impose on you, but do you suppose I could coax you to do a few card tricks for the ladies this afternoon? Just as I thought. Of course I will, dear. Here, pick a card. Oh, my eye. Do you suppose... Could Thorny be right about Ozzy's horoscope? Or is he just jumping to conclusions? It's human enough, goodness knows. Take some of you, for instance. You know the way prices have been soaring the last few years. Now, who could blame you if you jumped to the conclusion that international sterling prices have risen, too? But here's the wonderful thing about international sterling. Prices have not gone up. Other leading silver people have raised their prices, but your favorite international sterling pattern costs the same today as in 1944. Why, do you know you can save $20 by getting eight play settings in an international sterling pattern like Spring Glory rather than some other sterling? Yes, sir. And with that $20, you could buy eight additional teaspoons. This is international sterling, mind you. Solid silver that is artist-designed, created and finished in jewel-like detail at the hands of master craftsmen. See it at your international sterling dealers. Choose it with pride. Cherish it always. For the solid silver with beauty that lives forever is international sterling. See that man with
with poker deck in hand, following Harriet Nelson around the dining room, that's Ozzie Nelson, father, husband, and take a card. Ozzie's always been fascinated by the art of prestidigitation. Perhaps he'll not stop with mere card tricks, but go on to greater things. Wonderful, mysterious, unbelievable feats of magic. Ladies and gentlemen, in my right hand you see a pistol. In my left hand I hold a small boy. Hello, everybody. I take aim with the pistol. Hello, everybody. I pull the trigger. And in my left hand, you now see a small boy with a hole in his head. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before me you observe a table. On the table, a high silk hat. Into this hat I shall now break several eggs. A quart of milk. Two or three ripe tomatoes and a bottle of ink. I take the magic wand, wave it above the hat, and presto, I reach inside the hat and... Hello, everybody. A small, messy boy with a hole in his head. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall now perform the greatest trick ever conceived. Standing before me, you see a long wooden box. In this hand, I have a saw. And in this hand, I have a small boy... Hello, everybody. ...with a hole in his head. I now place this small boy in the box. Put the lid on. And now I saw... The box is now in two pieces. I separate the pieces and... Hello, everybody. (laughs) Yes, sir, there's no telling how far Ozzy may progress in the field of magical science. Perhaps he's about to spring one of his newest mysterious tricks at this very moment. Uh, Harriet, take a card. Oh, Ozzy, please, I've got to make these sandwiches. Sandwiches, sandwiches. Take a card. All right. Now, I'll close my eyes while you slip it back in the deck. Okay? Now I shuffle... Harriet. Yes, dear? Give me back the card and take this slice of ham out of the deck. (laughs) Oh, see who's at the door, will you, dear? Oh, hello, Emmy Lou. Come on in. I brought over the napkins Mrs. Nelson wanted to borrow for the tea this afternoon. Uh, uh, take a card, Emmy Lou. Oh, Mr. Nelson, do you do card tricks? Well, My goodness, there seems to be no end to your talent. Well, I've only been doing them for a few days. I'm really not very good yet. Oh, yes, you are. You're wonderful. You're terrific. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, let me do the trick first. <laughs> Here, take a card. Which one do you want me to take? Any one at all. Yes. King of Diamonds. No, 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 no. Emmy Lou, you're not supposed to tell me the card. I'm supposed to tell you. You see, that's the trick. I right, try it again. I'll pick a card. Let me see. Um, I'll take this one. Now, don't let me see it. Okay. Now, what do I do? I put it back in the deck. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> now, uh, what did you say? <laughs> Carefully now, because I'm going to shuffle. I'll stand back. Uh, I look through the cards, and there's the one you picked out, the five of hearts. That's it, isn't it? Oh, dear, I'm so sorry, Mr. Nelson. I got so excited, I forgot to look. (laughs) Do it again. Oh, I better rest my fingers a while. My little pinky's getting a Charlie horse. (laughs) How come you're staying at home today with all these women coming to tea? Well, Mrs. Nelson wanted me to stay around and sort of keep things going. Oh, how Thoughtful, Mr. Nelson. How considerate of you. You're the kind of man I want to marry. Oh, Emmy Lou. You are, Mr. Nelson, a perfect darling. A man who's just one of the girls. (laughs) Are you you sure you're not looking at me from an angle? (laughs) The, The reason I'm here is because... 
Well, Mrs. Nelson has practically forced me to stay. You see, she wants me to entertain with my card tricks. She kept coaxing me, so I finally gave in. Oh, that's just like you. Well, there's another factor involved, too. Mrs. Nelson's mother has a lot of faith in astrology, and she told Mrs. Nel... <laughs> this is silly. She told Mrs. Nelson my horoscope said it'd be dangerous for me to go out today, but of course I don't believe in that stuff. Oh, I wouldn't scoff if I were you. You're talking just the way poor cousin Susie talked before she passed on. She didn't believe in astrology? No. Mother warned her that the horoscope said she shouldn't go roller skating. But how could you reason with anyone 94 years old? <laughs> In here, Harriet. Just stacking, uh, just uh, looking over my cards. Oh, the girls are here, and I told them all about your tricks. They're dying to see them. I've been thinking it over, and I don't think I'll come down, Harriet. Well, for goodness sakes, why not? Oh, my tricks aren't really perfected. Oh? Well, suit yourself, dear. You mean you aren't even going to coax me? (laughs) Of course I am. Please come down, dear. The girls will be terribly disappointed if you don't. Mm, No, Harriet. There's chocolate cake. No. Vanilla ice cream? No, no. That attractive Mrs. Walker's here. She was asking if you're still as handsome as ever. Uh, A chocolate cake? (laughs) Well, just a few tricks. There you are, ladies. The three of clubs. Please, please, lady, not not too much applause. I get a headache very easily. <laughs> For my next trick, I shall attempt to find not one, not two, not three, but four hidden cards. Oh, you can do it, Tootsie Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Canfield. And now if four of you will take cards, uh, Mrs. Douglas, Mrs. Buckley, Mrs. Dunkel, Mrs. Walker... Oh, Mrs. Walker. <laughs> now, each of you look at your card. And there. Uh, now, place them back in the deck. Cut several times. And now, right from the top of the deck, one, two, three, four, your cards, ladies. Oh, good for you. That's going to be something. Oh, you know what you're doing, Tootsie Roll. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Oh, Mr. Nelson, that was simply marvelous. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mrs. Walker. Oh, Mrs. Walker, take a card. All right. Now, what shall I do with it? Uh, why don't you keep it? I have a whole deck. Is this one of your new tricks, Ozzy? Oh, no, you're up to your old tricks, aren't you, Dusty? Mr. Nelson, this is positively the most amazing trick I've ever seen. Oh, uh, what trick is that, Mrs. Gibbons? Oh, don't play innocent. You know perfectly well. Look, girls, isn't he marvelous? He didn't even come near me, and here's a card in my ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that must have happened. This, uh, I think if you'll check that card, you'll find it to be the Six of Salami. <laughs> Now, this is a new one, girls. I think you'll like this one. Let's see. Uh, Mrs. Canfield. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very quickly now. Take three cards. Any three. Uh, well, uh, this one. Uh, this one. And uh, this one. Here. Now, according to my calculations, they should all be exactly the same suit. Now, take a look. Oh, isn't that marvelous? They're all the same. Thank you, ladies. Here they are, the two of spades, the nine of diamonds, and the king of hearts. They're supposed to be the same. Well, they are, aren't they? They've all got bicycles on the back. (laughs) Now, now, girls, I think I have time for just one more trick. Now, watch the Goodbye, girls. I'm so glad that you could all come. Goodbye. Goodbye, Tootsie Roll. Keeps calling me Tootsie Roll. I don't know whether she thinks I'm sweet or I'm built like one. (laughs) Oh, what do you care, dear? Everybody had a wonderful time, and you deserve all the credit. You were absolutely terrific. Oh, thank you, dear. As a matter of fact, I have several engagements requesting my services. 
Mrs. Gibbons wants us for dinner Friday. Bring my cards. Mrs. Hodges wants us over Saturday. Bring my cards. Mrs. Dunkel wants us over Sunday. Bring my cards. Mrs. Floyd wants me over tomorrow. Bring your cards? Uh, no, bring my plunger. Her sink is stopped up. <laughs> Everybody had a wonderful time, and we owe it all to you. Well, you wanted me to entertain. The least I could do was try. Oh, no, dear. That's why I feel so guilty. I did my best to keep you out of the house. Harriet, what are you trying to give me? You wanted me in the house. I know all about my horoscope saying it'd be dangerous for me to go outdoors today. What horoscope? Well, didn't your mother tell you that? Mother didn't even mention your horoscope. Well, some... I, I, I got the idea someplace. What are you doing? I'm just curious. I want to see what your horoscope is for today. See, you're Pisces, aren't you? March 20th. Pisces, Pisces. A look under Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, it's lucky you did stay in today. Well, then Thorny was right. It could have been dangerous. Not for you, dear, but for me. Listen to this. Warning to wives. Be careful of your husband. Today is the one day in the year he is irresistible to women. Well, no wonder you were such a tremendous success with your card trick. Irresistible. Ah, <laughs> oh, that stuff's a lot of nonsense. <laughs> uh, Harriet. Yes, dear? I think I'll take a stroll down to the corner and get a paper. Oh, Ozzy, how can you be so cruel? Cruel? Well, of course, dear. Didn't you hear your horoscope? You're irresistible to women today. Stop kidding. But you really are, dear. I ought to know. I'm a woman. Please stay home. Okay. If it'll make you happy, I'll stay in the house the rest of the day. Is that a promise? That's a promise. Well, thank goodness. I was afraid I was going to have to do all those dishes by myself. <laughs> Ozzie and Harriet will be back in just a moment. Well, men, now you know how to become an irresistible hit with the ladies. Just fix yourself up a good horoscope. Uh-uh. Do what I did. Get yourself a job in Mr. Jonathan's silverware store selling international sterling spring glory pattern. Gosh, Mr. Smith, I can't keep the ladies away. Well, I should hope not. Spring Glory is one of the loveliest patterns international sterling has ever created. Boy, do those gals love me. I bring out my velvet mat and put down a knife, fork, and spoon in the Spring Glory pattern. Then I point out the unusual features, like the openwork on the handle and the way it unfolds into one perfectly carved flower. Why, Mr. Smith, I have those women hanging on my every word. Yes, especially when you mention the price, I imagine. For international sterling alone among leading silver people has not raised prices since 1944. Yeah, I guess what you mean, Mr. Smith, that it's that uh, it isn't irresistible me. It's irresistible international sterling that brings all those women into Mr. Jonathan's silverware store. Well, all I know is that no woman can ever resist the solid silver with beauty that lives forever, and that's international sterling. <laughs> Yes, dear? Are you asleep? Not quite. Why? I just figured out to do how to do that trick I couldn't remember this afternoon. I, uh, take a card. Ozzy. Uh, any card at all. Ozzy? Uh, yes, dear? It's after midnight. You're no longer irresistible to women. <laughs> Tune in again next week to another adventure of Ozzy and Harriet, starring Ozzy Nelson and Harriet Hilliard. This is Vern Smith speaking. This is... This is Horace Height. To tell you that in just a few seconds, you'll hear a picked group of America's great young entertainers competing for fame and stardom in our show on NBC, the national broadcasting company. Mm -hmm.